Hello Internet, this is Corey with Android Community. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at Android 4.0. This is actually uh, Star Engine Mod 9 running on the Samsung Nexus S, the T-Mobile version. Sadly mine took a little spill, it was a depressing day, but uh, here it is. This is Star Engine Mod 9 running on Android 4.0. Um, this is the latest King, uh, the, the, the latest alpha build, uh, alpha 11 of CM9 for the Nexus S. It's, it's not really Sonogen mod, if you, you'd actually like to say that. It doesn't really have any of their, their custom features. It's basically just a built from source version of Ice Cream Sandwich for the Nexus S. But it does have uh, Sonogen Mod 9's uh, their kernel. So everything is on its way and slowly uh, coming. Hopefully more devices get the awesomeness that we have here soon. But uh, here's just a quick look. You can clearly see everything is very smooth, very fluent. Clear everything, go into settings, go to about phone. So you can see here, Nexus S, Android 4.0, running on the Alpha 11. Yay. It's a little extreme, we've all seen that, so I'm going to go out of that. But uh, here it is, just another quick look for everyone to see just how good CM9 is coming along. I have uh, clearly Wi-Fi up top, Wi-Fi works, everything works, Bluetooth works, you can clearly see everything not only works, but it's, it's smooth and fluent and quick. You know, stuff like that. But, let's see, go into the app tray, I mean, just looking at it, it's, it's smooth, I like it, go to widgets here, oops. So yeah, haven't really launched anything. Go into the Google Apps. You can add all your, uh, you know, if you want to change and add stuff to your folders. It works great. Move that back where it's supposed to be. Oops. But uh, yeah, camera even works. It's a little slow sometimes to actually launch into the camera um, from the from the screen, you know, for the lock screen. But clearly, you can see it. It does work. You know, no face unlock or anything crazy like that. But other than that, it's good. Games all work great. Everything's obviously you can just see by looking at it. It's it's plenty smooth. It's plenty stable for a daily driver. Um, again, this is Alpha 11 of CM9 for the Samsung Nexus S. Thanks to Kush and the whole team over there at Sargent Mod to get us get us a stable build this quick is uh, appreciated. Obviously, this is just an alpha build. This is by no means a review or anything. But a lot of people may be considering taking the jump and installing this on their uh, Nexus S or some of the other devices getting ported. So far, it runs great, and this is just kind of a video to show you that. So, yeah, nothing too too crazy here. Soon we'll be seeing all their little changes and tweaks, but I mean, doing pretty good so far. Maybe I'll launch a game real quick so you can see a game, just to see that it it does actually work and it, it works well. Full hardware acceleration support and everything's already been added. Yeah, Riptide. But, don't want to get too crazy into that. Swipe to clear all these multitasking items. Yeah, everything's very smooth. They don't have any of the capacitive. Uh, I mean, the capacitive buttons are here, so we don't need the actual on-screen navigation keys. Obviously, so those have all been removed. No point in having both of them when uh, we don't need them. But this was just a quick look at Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, Samsung Mod 9 Alpha 11 running on the Samsung Nexus S. Hopefully some of you guys will go and get it and check it out because it's definitely smooth and it works great. So there it is guys, it's all available at XDA Developers or wherever else you know you all get your ROMs and builds and all that goodness we love about Android. Thanks for watching.